Hi, I'm Dennis Kelderman with the Cessna Structures Group, and today we're looking at some of the different devices that we'll be using to measure skin dense width. This is a digital caliper, and as you can see, it has both uh, a vernier uh, scale as well as a, uh, a digital scale. And this is a stare at depth gauge. And what we want to look at, uh, try to distinguish the different function here as well as is there a better or best and is there a preferred method? Now here we're going to use this, the digital caliper. Okay, we'll zero it. We'll place it in the damage. And we're now showing 26.5. And we'll express that as 0 0.026, okay? Now, the reason this is important in, in showing the, these different devices is the digital calipers is, is a very important tool in sheet metal. I love to have it for reference. For instance, I've got a, a scale here and I'm not really sure what it should measure. I can so quickly throw this on there and, and I see that it's it's just right, it's 19, it's probably about 20 thousandths material. Nominally, it may vary some. And it, it's a great, great tool to have around, but when I'm evaluating skin damage, I need exactness. Now let's look at this. Okay, so we've already got the, the device zeroed. And as I bring the, the pointer down into the depth of the damage, can see that we can kind of play this back and forth and that's one nice thing about the detail and the accuracy of this device and you can see now this dial for every revolution it's 50 thousandths and you can see we're just about at the the five mark so we're right at 54 thousandths deep and yet we'd recorded with our digital calipers 26 thousandths and so this is why this is definitely the preferred method in measuring skin dents. So if we compare the measurement that we got with the the uh, digital caliper that would have been and I'll try to do that on the scale here right here at 26 like whoa but what the actual measurement was, was right about 54. So that tells us why it's critical to use the right tool. And I believe that we often have people giving us measurements based upon the caliper. But the reason it's not accurate is because the base of the caliper, if we look at this, is only six tenths wide. Yet we've already found that the damage of the, the dent is at least one inch wide. So we're sitting within the damage. And two, the, the pin that we're using here that drops down into the, the damaged area may well be wider than the smallest portion of the damage. So it's actually sitting out in a stepped area instead of going in the full depth of damage. I hope it's, I hope we've clearly seen the difference between these two devices, the, the usefulness of them, but why the, the depth gauge is clearly the device to be using as we evaluate our skin dent damage. Thank you.